You might wonder what the differences are between Jesus and famous teachers such as Buddha, Muhammad, or the philosophies of Hinduism. All of them teach people to behave with decency and respect for one another. Our relationship with other people is fundamentally important. In that regard, these teachings are largely in harmony. But they differ very much in their identification of who God is, or in the route we should take to get to know Him. Among these teachers, Jesus is the only one who is the literal Son of God, or even claims to be. He's the only one who predicted His own death and resurrection, and whose teachings depend on those facts. Jesus taught that there is only one God, His Father. This God created all things and directs His creation with unequaled power and authority. Jesus puts the ultimate authority of His work and teaching on God. I tell you the truth, the Son can do nothing by Himself. He can do only what He sees His Father doing, because whatever the Father does, the Son also does. For as the Father has life in Himself, so He has granted the Son to have life in Himself. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. Buddha's teaching does not require the involvement of any god, but encourages people to look within themselves for their spiritual goal. Jesus' teaching is that people should know God, his Father. He said so in a prayer. Father, the time has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Hinduism can allow for almost any number of gods. Within the Hindu outlook, many people claim that God has a variety of aspects, that each aspect can be represented as a god, and that God accepts worship through any of these. But Jesus never taught this. Jesus was specific that there is only one God, and that the only way to worship God was through Him. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Muhammad taught that people should worship the one supreme creator God. Like Jesus, he identified God as the one who spoke to an ancient faithful man named Abraham. But Muhammad claimed that he was bringing a further revelation from God. He wrote that revelation in the Quran. Even though Muhammad recognized Jesus as a prophet, he didn't recognize Jesus as the Son of God. And Muhammad did not believe that Jesus rose from the dead. As we've seen, Jesus clearly identified himself as the Son of God. It's a crucial point of his message. And on this point, Muhammad disagrees with Jesus. When we read the Bible record, we see that Jesus leaves no room for another teacher. Jesus is exclusive because he emphasizes himself as the only way to God, as we saw in John 14, verse 6. One of Jesus' disciples, named Peter, healed a lame man and was arrested by Jesus' enemies. At his trial, Peter pointed out their mistake in killing Jesus and declared that Jesus is the only way God has provided for salvation. It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. We can see that simply respecting Jesus as a teacher of good morals is very different than believing that Jesus is the Son of God, who is alive right now and working with us from heaven. The Bible also has many letters written by a man named Paul. He committed his life to teaching about Jesus. Paul knew that without Jesus' resurrection, nothing else in his message mattered. Paul wrote, If there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless and so is your faith. These passages illustrate how a meaningful belief in Jesus depends on believing that he rose from the dead and is alive today. The people who wrote the Bible believed that Jesus is more than a great moral teacher, 
They believe that he is a living man with power to save our lives, literally forever.